This is Dan Seifer with The Verge, and we're checking out the new Samsung Gear S2. This is the latest smartwatch from Samsung. Uh, it's running Samsung's proprietary software platform. However, as a new feature this year, it not only works with Samsung smartphones, but it should work with most Android smartphones that run Android 4.4 or higher, uh, which is a new thing, so it really opens up these devices to a lot more people that might be interested in them. As far as what you're seeing here, this is the standard S2. It's kind of like the sport model. It's got a uh, 42 millimeter uh, face here. Uh, it's a metal body and then what they're calling elastomer rubber strap here. Uh, standard clasp at the bottom. Underneath you've got things like the heart rate monitor, activity tracking, things like that. This is a proprietary strap mounting system but it is possible to remove these straps and Samsung says that third-party uh, manufacturers will also be manufacturing straps for it. This particular one is silver with a white strap. Samsung will also be offering a dark uh, model with a black strap. Of course, what's really unique here is this rotating bezel, which is how you do a lot of interactions with the watch now. It still has a touch screen. You can still tap into things and, and see more information and scroll and things like that. But a lot of what you can do there, you can also do with the scrolling on the wheel, which is pretty cool uh, since it keeps your fingers off of the screen. Then it's got a basic back button and a home button. Uh, you can see the app launcher here. Various apps that are available. Samsung says that about a thousand apps will be available at launch and a hundred of those have been developed in hand in hand with Samsung. Uh, so there's all kinds of things like Uber and weather and you can also customize between different uh, 26 different watch faces uh, ranging from digital to analog to different various designer styles. Uh, and one of the new things is the new, what they're calling dynamic watch faces, which bring different information to the fore, so you can have things like your Twitter feed right on your watch, uh, or different news or things like that. You can also, of course, access your notifications. You can reply to messages uh, with your voice or with canned responses. Uh, Samsung's also offering a uh, T9-style keyboard, so you can type different responses as well. Uh, in addition to the standard S2, there's another model called the S2 Classic which is a little bit of a dressier design. It's got a slightly different bezel here with the knurled grip on it. Uh, it's a darker model. It comes with a black leather strap uh, as opposed to the rubber and it's a standard 20 millimeter strap here uh, so you can easily swap it for a different one. The face is 40 millimeters so it's a little bit smaller but it really doesn't look too much different. Uh, all of the other features are pretty much the same. You've got your circular uh, ring here to control uh, the interface as well as the touchscreen. All of the same apps are available as well. Samsung isn't saying when the new watches will be available or exactly how much they'll cost, but you expect to have that information fairly soon. There's a quick look at the Gear S2 and the Gear S2 Classic from Samsung.